Kashmiri separatist leader Yasin Malik has been convicted by the NIA court in Delhi. Now, this is after uh, he had previously uh, pled guilty in a terror funding case. Arguments on the quantum of sentencing will now be heard on the 25th of May. Let's go across to Neeta for more uh, on this story. Neeta, give us the details. And he had already pled guilty and in the same case he's been convicted? Absolutely. Uh, yes, uh, Gargi. You know, his lawyer has confirmed that Yasin Malik has been convicted. He was charged with hatching a criminal conspiracy waging war against India and also unlawful activities and disturbing peace in Kashmir. The case dates back to 2017 when, you know, there were uh, uh, charges that uh, as uh, these stone pelting cases uh, were, uh, you know, uh, piling up in Kashmir and he was a man behind it. Yasin Malik, as you are also saying, he had not, he had pleaded guilty in that matter. In the last hearing, he told the court that he was not contesting any charges which were leveled against him. NIA had, uh, you know, uh, registered a case of Section 16, that is the terrorist act, Section 17, raising funds for terrorist acts, Section 18, conspiracy to commit terrorist acts, and Section 20, being a member of a terrorist gang or organization of the UAPA and sections 120B criminal conspiracy and 124A, that is sedition of the Indian Penal Code. So these charges were leveled by the NIA and he had pleaded uh, guilty and that is why uh, today he has been convicted. But as far as the other accused in this case, uh, uh, case is concerned, because there are about 16 to 17 accused in this case, which have been listed by an NIA, which includes uh, Kashmiri separatist leader uh, Shabir Shah, Masrat Alam, former MLA Rashid Engineer, businessman Zahur Ahmed uh, Watali, Bitta Karate, Aftab Ahmed Shah and Aftar Ahmed Shah. Among many of them, you know, uh, uh, the case will go on against uh, all, all these people. But as far as Mr. Yasin Malik is concerned, he has been convicted.